I am here at SHOT Show 2019 with Cole Kornberg of PhoneScope. Yep. Cole, thanks for spending time with us in the audience. I appreciate it. Thank you. I tell you, man, PhoneScope has been getting a lot of mind share. And you have some new products for 2019. Yes. So let's uh, let's talk about it. So what we wanted to do this year is we wanted to be able to mimic or see exactly what the shooter is seeing through the scope. Um, you know, this is going to be great for the training applications, for recording, different things like that, to where you're going to go out and shoot. You're going to be able to follow your trigger, your squeeze, your control, everything. You're going to be able to record it. The cool thing is you can also share it. We've got a lot of uh, coyote hunters that are starting to share you know their hunts and different things that way too um, you know we're pushing this big into the military law enforcement side because of the huge ability to be able to use it for training yeah I, I would agree because when when we have interviewed some of the more uh, notable shooters they'll they'll describe what they do mm -hmm. but how people interpret that without a visual representation can yeah. be very very challenging yes and I mean the, the cool thing about it is if you've got an iPhone and an iPad you you know when you're in a training situation you can link them together and everybody can be watching that and seeing exactly how that reticle is moving. So, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense to be able to do this. Now, we've got a few different new models um, coming out this year. This is our beam model. This is going to be really good for the hunters or the long range ELR guys because it's so rigid. You don't want to be able to hit it or anything in your pack. Um, this one's our red dot setup, so it's got a pick rail, and all it does is adjust up and down to be able to fit behind the red dot, and then it all hides over. And then this one here is our PVS-14 mount. This was a big one that a lot of people have been bugging us about because the ability to see really clear footage, you know, and capture that, you know, for the predator hunters and everybody, that the hog hunters. Hog hunters and predator hunters are going to eat this one up. And hopefully that one's going to be out really, really soon. And then, of course, our, you know, our standard spotting scope and binoculars. Now, can somebody who has a, a maybe owns all of these representative uh, firearms here, spotting scope, mm -hmm. is, is there like a, a complete package they can get, or would they still purchase each of these individually? Um, right now, these are kind of the first prototypes we've got. Hopefully, they're going to be out Q2, but I mean, that's something we could probably look at. The only big difference between them, uh, uh, all the prism systems in them are the same. The only difference is, is just the mounting aperture to mount to the scope. So you might be able to just use the same one and go through all three if we if we sold the rings to be able to do that. And, and I know for your existing uh, products, there have been some manufacturing improvements? Yeah, so the, the original ones were really, really, really long. The problem was, was it was running up into the, you know, your magnification. So these new ones are very quick to take on and off. They slide right off, and as you can see, they're a lot shorter than the old ones. Um, this allows the eyepiece to get up closer a lot easier without interfering with everything else. And then to uh, install them, you just slide it on. ratchet it like a snowboard binding. And, and so this is currently available, right? Yes. And and if somebody and, and what is this running for? The 175. The case is separate, but the cool thing about the case is it works on all our products. So if you've got an adapter to a spotting scope or the binoculars, the case will work on all of them. And I understand now you support the GoPro? Yes. So like the new sevens and different things, we've got the ability to mount those on the side and record, you know, exactly what you're seeing. Now now for folks who probably can't wait for you to get these to market it. I mean, you, you could take this conceivably, you could use it here. Oh yeah. You could use it here, could you? No, because the way the back of the red dot is, it's straight off, so there's not really anything to interface the, okay. the, the ratcheting mechanism with. Okay. So hopefully here in the next few weeks we'll be able to do that um, and get that system out available to everybody. Okay, terrific. And, and this, uh, this uh, which is currently available, how much is that uh, retail? The on? cases are about 30 to 60, so the phone case, and then the adapter to the spotter is about $30 in that neighborhood. And then we do make universal ones too. If somebody's got different spotters, we can do that. And a lot of people don't know that we make them for binoculars too. 
you know, back east, uh, the whitetail hunters, the guys that don't necessarily need a spotting scope can still use their binoculars and it latches on the exact same way with the same coast, with the same case. So if, if folks want to get their, their hands on your uh, current products and, and maybe learn more about uh, some of your future products, where should they go? So for the phone scope, we go to www.phonescope.com. For the scope vision, we had to separate it because of firearms, political sure. crap. So that goes to www.scopevision.com. Okay. And scope with a K. Yep. Scope vision. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Well, Cole, uh, we really appreciate you spending time with us and our audience, and we wish you the best of luck at uh, SHOT Show 2019. Thanks. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.